Good morning guys! Welcome to the first weekly vlog. There has definitely been multiple attempts to start this but we are finally here. There isn't much going on this week except for the release of the Midnight's album which I am so excited about. Other than that, it's just normal everyday life so I hope you guys have the best week. I've been reorganizing my whole basement. I live in a basement, so I've been reorganizing the whole thing just for fall and also because my stuff cannot fit anymore. I'm proud of myself for organizing. Like, I gained so much space just by how I move things around. So this is the blazers and light jackets rack. So now everything is according to type. And then over here are just trench coats. Before it was like I had bags here and I had bags um, near the front of my door. And honestly, I would just forget that I had those bags. So I was like, we got to put them together. So now they're here in these, these, I don't know, like crate containers. They're really cute. I got them from Urban Outfitters and it comes in different colors and sizes it, I like it because you can stack them on top of each other so all my flat like smaller flat packs that I don't really use and are mostly for summer here and then I just put everything else in these two and then these are the bigger bags and they're just like in totes and then I only have one cabinet so it's kind of like hard to fit things but I found a way to be more organized using this I don't know divider thingy from Ikea it just makes sense it works and also guys I got these hangers from Amazon they're so useful if you have a tiny closet because you can literally like put one, two, three, four, five, six hangers going down so you don't take a lot of space like sideways you just go vertical which I love and then beneath it are my heels and my summer shoes. I had to squish them together. Oh, this is my pin collection. Guys, I actually collect pins from places that I've been to. These ones are also from Ikea, I think. It just makes sense to me to hide all the summer stuff, like the heels, the... I have, like, the tiny sneakers in here, the flats, just because I don't use them as much, so they're just going to stay there. Now, I turn this rack into just full outerwear guys it's not all mine and now it feels just like it feels so much cleaner to just see all outerwear here and then at the bottom i bought these bins from ikea so now it's all sweatpants sweatsuits and anything that's literally cozy will just be here but that's it for this very impromptu closet tour um it's just that i live in a basement and it's once i start dumping things onto the couch it's just piles up so easily and it's an open space so i can literally see it and i'm trying to be like an organized girl i'm trying to change we are back in my desk it's currently 2 27 pm i still have some admin stuff i have to go through and some concepts that i need to submit for a brand i do have an agency that helps me with my emails and all that but i still like being able to see them and then i have to plan um, my week. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I have to plan my content and I bought so I bought like a digital planner from Etsy Because you know, I'm trying to be an organized girly. I used to just write stuff and put post-it notes. I mean, I guess I still do but We're trying to change listening to a podcast while working and i found it on instagram i usually do not listen to podcasts like i probably only listen to a handful but this really um piqued my interest and i was like i'm so glad i listened to it it's called spiraling higher and i listened to episode 18 so this one is called breaking up with your conditioning old patterns and friendships on your spiritual journey and the thing that i really like most that they said was something along the lines of like the longer you stay in your old patterns um you're gonna keep creating the same realities for yourself so basically it's because you can measure all the things that go wrong in your life like you can measure um everything that you're losing so you can measure like your failures you can measure like things that go wrong and all that but then you cannot measure the things that 
you can gain. You can't measure the things that is potentially for you. So that's why your mind is always like going on the negative side of things. It's always trying to tear you down. You know, it's always giving you self-doubt and it's always giving you the thought that you're a failure or anything on like the negative side. And the more that you keep doing that to yourself, the more that you do not like catch yourself doing that, the more you will stay in the same reality and the more your manifestations wouldn't come true. It's because you're not allowing yourself to think positively and you're not allowing yourself to like be in a space where you can grow. And I just really love that. So yeah, definitely recommend this podcast. It also talks about like friendships that are not serving you. Um, I'm trying to like break out of the conditioning that you had when you were a kid and I highly recommend listening to it even if you're not like into manifestation or any of that it's I believe it's like literally for anybody who wants to change and grow and see the potential that they have it is now 6 50 p.m. Um, I just had a three-hour phone call with Mia. Honestly, we're, just, we're supposed to talk business. Well, we did kind of a bit, but we mostly just chatted like we always do. did also plan for a very exciting thing happening next month. I'm not going to say anything, um, but it's just so funny because like when I was in Vancouver, when I was there with Jen and Mia, um, we were literally talking about this thing happening for next year and we were like oh yeah we're definitely gonna do that it's gonna happen we're gonna plan it out you know all that stuff and then I got approached by a brand um, like two weeks ago for that specific thing and I'm like I just I cannot believe how this worked out like I am literally so excited I will vlog it and I will tell you what it is when it's closer to the date but yeah I'm so excited guys I'm so proud of myself for actually working out today and I did a stretching class so I've been saying that I wanted to get back into working out but haven't actually done it until now um, I'm doing the four week beginner program in the Pilates class app. They explain kind of like the proper form and what body parts you need to activate and how to do it. So I guess this is the start of my fitness journey. You can hold me accountable for that. I actually used to work out two or sometimes even more um, a week when I was in university because I was in the cheerleading team, but then I kind of fell out of it, you know, like five years of not really working out regularly so we are getting back on track so i'm heading out it's my friend's birthday and i just wanted to show you my outfit because i think it's cute so sweater and um skirt is from h&m and my boots are from asos over here so it's currently 4 p.m on Wednesday, I'm heading out to shoot with Cass today. Um, we're shooting maybe two or three looks. I wanted to really get a night pick. Um, so I'm wearing my first outfit. Well, I had to layer up, so I'm gonna change the sweater later. I'm really happy because I don't have to lug around a huge suitcase. I'm only bringing my shoot day tote bag. Happy midnight day. Of course, I'm wearing blue today. I'm gonna head out to do my nails and maybe some errands and then I don't know, we'll go from there. So I just wanted to show you, I cut my bangs and I did. I think I did a pretty good job. What do you think? If you haven't streamed midnights, this is your sign to do it right now. This vlog by showing you some Things that I've been loving recently, especially for fall, now that it's like cozy season, guys, fall is my absolute favorite. Like, I am living for all things fall. So, 
let me get this stuff and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so sabotage. I filmed the entire thing and I wasn't recording. So we're just gonna do it again. The first thing I'm gonna show you guys is this Micellar Margella candle. But it's called By the Fireplace and I also happen to have the perfume. So the scent is actually burning wood and chestnut and I absolutely love it. Like, it's so cozy and homey. Guys, it's so good. It's literally like you're sitting near a fireplace. Very cabin, very warm, you know, that kind of scent. And I just, I love it. I'm obsessed. So the next thing I want to show you is this Glossier Cloud Paint in, what is it? In the shade Dawn. I like going through the, the nose a bit just to have that sun-kissed look. And the thing is that this one is also very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. You just need to really blend it out. But yes, love it. Next thing are these Uggs mini platform, mini ultra platform. They're so cozy and they keep your feet warm and I just, I love them. So I also have this lip tint glow from Radford Beauty. I actually did not know this brand um, until my friend posted about them two weeks ago and then I just got this like a week ago. And I just love it because it gives you like a sheer glow tint. But yeah, if you want that subtle like glowy sheer look, this one's for you. So that's that. These are the products that I've been loving lately. Um, I'm going to be sharing more in the coming vlogs. Mm -hmm.